Hello there. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start an engineering business. My name is Sarah and I will be your instructor in this video. Before we start an engineering business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. To start your own engineering firm, you'll need to create a business plan, establish a legal structure and work environment, and seek assistance with marketing and other non-engineering tasks. Uncertainty and cash flow are two of the most difficult aspects of starting your own business. Freelance engineers charge hourly, fixed fee, or cost plus rates, look for industry standards to determine how much to charge. Before you start an engineering firm, it's critical to understand the fundamentals of laying a solid foundation for your company, as well as how to avoid common pitfalls for new businesses. Here are some things to think about when starting your engineering business. 1. Develop a business plan. You may be an expert in your engineering discipline but have no idea how to write a business plan. Creating a business plan forces you to consider the fundamentals of your company, the services you will offer, what will set your firm apart from other engineering firms, the types of clients you want to work with, how you will attract those clients, and your financial projections. A business plan is essential for understanding what you're creating and can also be used to secure funding for your startup. 2. Create a legal structure and obtain insurance. Determine which legal structure is best for you and register your business with your state. The legal structure has tax and liability implications, so do your homework and choose wisely. As your company grows, you can always change its legal structure. You may begin as a limited liability company, but once you have a significant number of employees, you may change your structure to an S-corp. Whether or not you are a licensed engineer, you must obtain professional liability insurance to protect your firm in the event that a dissatisfied client or someone else sues you. If you have a license, being sued may jeopardize it. Even if you are confident in the quality of your work and believe you will not face legal action, you must obtain liability insurance to protect your company from an unforeseeable event with serious financial consequences. There are insurance companies that specialize in engineer professional liability insurance. Ask similar engineering firms who they work with or do some online research. 3. Choose the appropriate office environment, tools, and software. Working remotely has become the norm in today's world, giving you a lot of leeway in how you set up your office. Most services can be provided with only a laptop, the appropriate software, and Wi-Fi. Working from home, a hotel, a friend's house, or a coffee shop are all viable alternatives to renting office space. When working remotely, you may need to meet clients in person on occasion. The key is to find a dependable meeting location that will enhance your professional image. Some coffee shops or other venues offer e-conference rooms that can be reserved in advance, and some co-working spaces rent out rooms to walk-ins. You will not be able to avoid purchasing the appropriate software for your engineering firm. Plan for this cost as an essential component of your company's ability to serve customers. If your company requires additional tools, such as a 3D printer or other prototyping equipment, you should consider joining a co-working space that provides them. Paying a little extra for a co-working membership grants you access to other professionals who may provide synergies, such as businesses to partner with or potential client contacts. 4. Marketing You may not be able to sustain a business without marketing. Even if you start the business with a client list, that work may eventually dry up, and you'll need to market your firm to get new clients. Understanding your target market will assist you in focusing your marketing efforts. If you're a civil engineer looking for infrastructure work, for example, market to governments by getting on their list of qualified vendors. Do business-to-business -business marketing with companies that design electronics if you're an electrical engineer. Social media marketing can help you gain clients if you work with the general public. Person-to-person -person interactions are common in marketing. Engineers are stereotyped as introverts who prefer to stay at home tinkering on their latest projects rather than go out and meet people. If this describes you, starting your own business will necessitate either improving your people skills or partnering with someone who enjoys meeting new people. Attending networking events with people in the construction industry, such as architects, developers, and contractors, for example, would be a great way to meet and secure new clients if you're a structural engineer. 5. Seek assistance. 
starting your own engineering firm entails more than just finding clients and doing the work, it also entails billing, bookkeeping, tax filing, contract drafting, and payroll management if you have employees. Although it may be tempting to do everything yourself, this is not always the best use of your time. Unless you're trained as both an accountant and an engineer, hiring a certified accountant is probably a better option than filing your own business taxes. Even if hiring someone for tasks outside of your expertise costs money up front, it may save you money in the long run. As a self-employed engineer, you may have to admit that you cannot do everything. Get assistance where you can, whether from other engineers, marketers, or accountants. You might eventually have enough work to hire workers. Hiring part-time employees to assist with tasks such as drafting or running calculations is a good place to start. The more tasks you can delegate to others, the more time you will have to do things only you can do, such as envisioning and building your firm into what you want it to be. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start an engineering business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy. An extension for education.